Um, I'd say I picked UND because of uh, the coaches who recruited me. Uh, Coach Schmidt recruited me pretty hard, and he just seemed like a really good dude, and I wanted to come here, play for Coach Schwager. It was a competitive re recruiting process, and I know we recruited him as an outside linebacker. We knew he was gonna have to grow into the position, but we really liked his athleticism out of high school. You know, he's a point guard on his basketball team, a very good basketball team. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when they came to watch me play, I scored my thousandth point, and it was a dunk. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it, you know that's that's the kind of thing when you get into coaching. I remember sitting in the in the gym on the Luce campus, watching him play a high school basketball game way back when. You know, it's, it's been a long ride, you know, and it's but it's really cool. It was definitely a rough transition going from like high school sports where you're the best to then coming and you're just kind of a, another fish in the pond. Then fall camp, I got switched to safety. Then I got moved back to outside linebacker like a week before we played Utah. So it was definitely like a long year, but. I'm happy I stuck it out. You know, I think he's really grown a lot. He's a very smart football player. You know, he's played a number of different positions. He's been a, you know, a staple on our defense. Um, you know, I think the teams, they, when they, they see 15 coming off the edge, it's a little bit different. Sometimes I get out there at end and he's next to me and I always look over, I see Jackson, I'm like, oh, we got this, like, we're gonna hold it down. But uh, just shows that he's a junkyard dog. And I mean, Coach would call a play, and we just gotta, gotta have the guys that can make the plays, and Jackson's one of those dudes that'll just go out there and make a big time play, as you guys saw in Youngstown State. You know, he's had a number of strip sacks in his career that were big, big plays and games to change momentum and give us opportunities to score. So he's really, really developed into a really good pass rusher, one of the best we've ever had here at UND, and really proud of him for just being relentless. You know, a lot about sacking the quarterback is desire and and just really gritty performance, and he's done a great job of that. Packer screen. There you go, Jackson. It was tough to just like leave the guys knowing that I could come back and play. I didn't want to leave the way we left it losing to JMU. So just to get another opportunity, you know, I was really excited, and I just wanted to come back so I could play with those guys one more year. Guys want to hang out with guys that are really committed to the program. And here's a guy that came back for his sixth year and wanted this opportunity to play another year, but he also wanted this opportunity to lead the program and be around the guys. And he's been really productive for us, and we were really pleased that he wanted to come back. It would just be really cool to be uh, remembered as one of the uh, better linebackers to play here. I know there's a lot of greats that play here, so to be mentioned in, the, in like with those names would be an honor. He's one guy that you'll never hear complain about how his body feels. He's a guy that'll practice through injuries. When he gets to game day, he'll play through injuries, and, and that's a, a sign of a really good leader. You could say he's, he's quiet, but uh, he has the attention of his teammates, and everyone respects him. It's a, you know that he's going he's gonna to play his best ball, and, and you want to play your best ball for him. He's been awesome for us, and it's uh, you wish you had him for, for six more. Yeah, I mean, it'll be weird uh, leaving here and kind of figuring out my own way in life. So, But, I mean, I'm excited for the next chapter of my life when this, this season's over. Uh, I've had a great time here, and I'm excited to see what happens after. Be the most physical team for the entire time. It is time we play 60 minutes. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. 60 minutes. Today marks the first meeting in nearly 60 years between two proud football programs built on winning traditions. It's the North Dakota Fighting Hawks taking on the Penguins from Youngstown State. Let's go. Let's go. Going into the Youngstown game, we really knew that uh, all we can do is control what we can control. Coach really emphasized that throughout the week, and we knew we had to go in and just win the football game. We just wanted to get back in the, in the winning column. So our focus was just on Youngstown State and getting a win. We kind of just came out slow. I don't know if it was because it was an early game or what. Good drive so far for the Penguins to start this football game. McLaughlin able to elude the tackle in the backfield, and he's in for the touchdown. When other teams putting points on the board, there's, a, there's more urgency that you got to match it and go out and uh, put some points on the board yourself. On play action. Evades the first hit, now goes end zone, touchdown! Bo Belquist coming back for the football to make the grab! Offensively, we 
We're really pleased with answering the first score. You know, when they scored on their first drive, we turned around and scored on our first drive. So now it's basically 0-0 and you start over again. I think every team comes in with 15, 20 scripted plays, kind of ways to beat your defense uh, from things you've done in previous weeks. And they just had uh, a really good game plan to start the game. We're just going to stop them. Touchdown, Youngstown State. We just didn't bring enough energy in the beginning of the game, and uh, Coach really got after us on the sideline. After they had some success, uh, we sat down on the bench, and uh, the coaches made some corrections, uh, different fits we needed to make, and it made a huge difference going throughout the rest of the game. We kind of got figured out what, what we wanted to do, and we just had to get back to playing uh, how we were going to play. We got to play UND football and play tough and just beat these guys up up front. I saw Marcus's pick. UND brings pressure. French shot hit as he throws. It's up for grabs. And is it intercepted? Yes! Marcus Vaughn Jones makes the pick. It was just a great play by Marcus. That was probably one of the, uh, if not the best pick I've ever seen since I've been here. We all saw the throw and it seemed like it was up there forever. And then we saw him like, go up when we weren't sure if he came down with it and then we saw him hold the ball up and running so everyone was running down the sideline going to celebrate with him. Marcus is a great guy. I mean, was, I was pumped to see him make a play like that. UND will keep the offense on the field on fourth down and three to open up the final frame. We're down there in the 33 yard line, needed to take a chance to uh, get a first down and get into the end zone and, and get a lead in the game. Coach made the call to try to run me and um, the defense, just made, they made a good play, they were there and so it didn't go our way. Youngstown State gets a big stop on fourth down with UND inside the 40. The Penguins offense takes it from there. So now you're down two scores. We didn't have a panic on the sideline, but we knew we were gonna, and had to go up tempo on offense because it now became a two possession game. We needed to score that drive or the game was pretty much over. The third down play from Tommy to Brock Boltman was a huge play that gave us some life. Sometimes you just need one play to get the drive going. And after that, we went Temple the rest of the drive and um, pretty much marched right down the field. Cut! Touchdown! Garrett Mogg! What a drive by the Fighting Hawks! Let's go! Come on, let's go! Good job! Let's go win the game! Good field position situation, two tackles for loss, and we're able to get off the field and get the ball back at about midfield. You know when Otis gets a big run, you can hear the crowd. Here's Otis Wea now on second and short, and this one busts wide open. Wea, touchdown North Dakota. Otis Wea from 43 yards out, and the Fighting Hawks lead for the first time today. If you give it to Otis enough, at some point, it seems like he's gonna break one, and that was the one, you know, to get us in the end zone, and then to get the two-point conversion after that, I think really gave us a lot of momentum and kept some momentum going. You stand up, and it's just like, let's go, time to play some defense. So fourth and three, UND brings the blitz. Crenshaw goes down, back in the 40. A dramatic fourth quarter comeback. They pull off the win today, 24-21 over Youngstown State. It finally feels good to get out on top of one. It's kind of relieving, but we knew we could do it, and you know, it's about time we did it. We've been disappointed the last couple weeks, but you know, just have, having it so close, but not being able to finish out game. So it was good to finish one out. We challenge our guys to play 60 minutes. We were talking about that on the sideline as we got to the fourth quarter to come out and perform that way and find a way to win was really a good feeling for our guys and we felt really good about the win.